All right, Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises and honor and glory that's due to you. How about Shemio Shai, Basham Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of great most all time and truth, and double side taste how you all can you mend that a prophesied and aim throughout the four winds of the earth, pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers, and to the Yaqua that I'm listening and learning to you. I say Shalom. All right, coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit of Yahweh 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 Okay, because we should be measuring the time diligently in itself, man. Okay, so look, just because things are so-called going back to normal, that don't mean anything. Okay, it's, look, like I say, when they should say peace and safety, hey, sudden destruction is going to come. Okay, because just because things looking to go back to normal, and really they ain't going back to normal. Okay, that's what a lot of you people are going to find out. The old norm that you was once used to is gone. The new norm is where uh, you're going to have to show proof that you've been, you know, you know, that thing, the jab. And then eventually, OK, once they do away with the dollar and the stock market crash. OK, hey, <laughs> you're going to have to be you're going to be presented with the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. OK, they've spoken of in Revelations to 13 chapter and the 16 verse. OK, so. Don't think that things are going back to normal because it looks like things are getting, you know, because these these sheeple, you know, they're getting the thing, getting that thing, you know. So, hey, look, at the end of the day, things are not going back to normal, man. I'm going to start off here. This is Second Israel chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in the cell, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I had told thee before, then show out. Like it then shall thou well thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Lord Yahweh about Shion Shah is about to visit the world which he made, man. Okay. The day of the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. Okay. So hey, don't fall to sleep. Don't go falling asleep. Don't fall back into this world. Don't fall back into the ways of this world. Because the ways of this world is passing away. Okay. Alright. Verse 3. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, okay, you have earthquakes all over the world, okay, I think there was an earthquake that happened in um, somewhere around New Zealand, okay, so earthquakes in diverse places, you got volcano eruptions, uproars of the people, okay, you're going to see more uproars, seditions, all right, insurrections upon the people, man, as we get closer and closer to the end, more violence, race wars, Clashes, all right, civil clashes, civil unrest. Okay, so look, don't don't go back to the world. Okay, don't think that things are looking up. No, man, you still got to. Hey, we got to be vigilant, man. Okay, you and it's true. You got to stay vigilant. Okay, and continue to watch prophecy. Verse four. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay. So we can't afford to go back to sleep, man. Let's let's get this. This is Habakkuk two and one. I will stand upon my watch and set me up upon and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall do answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh shall answer me, and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he. That he may run that readeth it, okay? And that's what we're doing. We're standing on our watch. We continue to warn the sheep and sound the alarm and blowing that trumpet, okay? Don't give up on blowing that trumpet. Don't lose focus on what's coming, man. Because, hey, like it's day, like it says, the day of the Lord going to sneak up on you, okay? Just like in the days of Noah. All right? Don't let that day of the Lord, you have about to see catch you off by surprise, okay? And, hey, look, the elect. It's not going to be caught off surprise, but hey, two-thirds of our people in the rest of the world, hey, two-thirds of Israelites, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in the rest of the damn world, hey, they're going to be caught off guard, and they're going to be caught by surprise, man. Oh, they're about to be caught up by surprise, okay? Verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry, Okay? The prophecies are no longer tearing, okay? All right, let's see.
Matthew. Scoop that up. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Um, let me see when I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm gonna start here. This is Matthew 24 and verse 33. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. Okay, what is near? The day of the Lord, how about seeing our shine? Verse 34, verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass until all these things be fulfilled. So this play, this generation is not gonna pass until everything is fulfilled in this Bible. Okay. The uh, forced implementation of the microchip, okay? World War Three. all right? Sedition among men. Esau even was coming down with that great rap because he knows his time is short, all right? All the prophecies in this Bible. So, hey, this generation ain't going to pass until all the things of this Bible be fulfilled, man, okay? And you know what? Let me get me here. I got a quick scripture. Let me go. Uh, to Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Okay. Just add on to that. Isaiah 46 and, Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times. The things that are not yet done. Saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So the glory of Yahweh's counsel is going to stand. Alright. Whether you believe it or whether you don't man. We're not going to let the incredulity the doubt of you you people out there that's doubtful, we ain't going to let that trouble us, okay? You know what? Got to get it. <laughs> that's spirit, man. Hey, that's spirit. Um, Yeah, second is 15, and I'm going to start at verse 1. Behold, speak thou into the ears of my people. Who's it? Do you Israelites, man? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The words of prophecy, and that's what we're doing. Okay, we're warning you, warning the sheep, okay, doing, a, doing these lessons day in and day out, edifying the sheep, warning the sheep, telling you of the things that's coming, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity, all right, we're not going to let your doubt, uh, you know, the fact that you doubt that things are going to go back to normal. Because a lot of you Israelites, two-thirds of you, basically, you want things to go back to normal. That's why you in line taking these goddamn jabs, man. You want things to go back to normal, but things are not going back to normal. Okay? Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. We're not going to let your doubt and your, um, your scoffing and mocking and thinking things are going to go back to normal trouble us. That speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay? So there you go. All the unfaithful is going to die in their unfaithfulness. Okay? Let's go back to Matthew. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to go back to it. It's uh, I, think it was, I think I was at 35, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, 35. Heaven and earth shall not pass away, but my words shall not pass away. See, like I just got through reading. All right, you know what? Perfect precept. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. All right. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish the that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. See? So the Lord's word is going to stand at the end of the day. The Lord's counsel at the end of the day is going to stand. Okay? Let's read this again. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 35. The hev heaven and earth shall pass away. Alright? The kingdom of Esau, Edom is going to pass away. Not the whole earth. Okay? Alright? But my words shall not pass away. But that but of that day and hour knoweth, knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. See, so only the Father, which is the name of Yahweh, okay, the Father's name is Yahweh. Not even Yahweh Shai, the Son knows, okay, he's just sitting back and he's waiting until Yahweh, his Father, gives him the command to come back and hey, get busy, 
All right, so he's waiting on the command of Yahweh, of his father Yahweh, man, our heavenly father Yahweh. Okay, so hey, he's sitting back and he's waiting. But hey, I guarantee you, Yahweh Shai is ready to come back, man, and hey, establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. He's rocking back and forth. He's ready to come back and take these goddamn Edomites out of power. Okay? He's ready. All right? And hey, the elect, we're ready. <laughs> okay? Verse 37. But as in the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay? And what's going? what happened in the days of Noah, man? They was partying. They was not paying attention. Hey, Noah was prophesying and telling them that, hey, y'all... Yeah, how about Shia Shao is going to scroll the world with water? Okay, and what happened? They ignored, they mocked until that, you know what? You know what? Let's read on. Verse 38. For as in the days, in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, until that ark was closed. And this is a spiritual ark here, okay? We're telling you, we're warning you, we're sounding the alarm. But what two thirds of you Israelites doing? <clears throat> All right, what y'all doing? You mocking, you scoffing, you laughing, thinking things are going to go back to normal, thinking this damn devil is never going to be taken out of power. All right, <laughs> until the day that Noah went into the ark. Okay, and when this word is gone, that's it. All hell is going to break loose. Okay, verse 39 and new. Not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yahweh shot. Okay, and how does and how is uh America's gonna be destroyed? Fire, okay? Thermonuclear destruction, man. Okay. Let's continue. This is first Peter chapter five and verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your devil, it's not because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who he may devour. That's why we continue to be sober, be vigilant, man. Knowing the times you're in. Okay? Not slacking. All right? Let's get this. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Circumspectly, let's go through the word circumspectly. I think I got my book. Yep, I got it open. All right, let's go this word circumspectly. Let this load up right quick. One moment. All right. So this word circumspectly. All right. Strong's G, 199, Akribos, Akribos. Akribos for that word, okay, all right, uh, it reads exactly, exactly, accurately, diligently, that's right, uh, let's see, perfect, perfectly, circumspectly, uh, let's see, let's see the root word, all right, Exact, careful, see, being careful, all right, all right, see, there you go, all right, uh, let's see, anything else, let's go another one, uh, no, it ain't giving me much, uh, you get to bed, man, all right, being careful, all right, Watching your surroundings, continue to watch prophecy. All right, so you got to be careful, walking carefully. All right, continue to stay in the faith. All right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna read it from here Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. 
because the days are evil. We're about to enter into evil days, okay? Evil days are upon us, okay? Jacob's trouble, all right? What Israelite group warning you of this? Only great millstone, starting with the elders and the apostles and the brothers on down, and, of course, the brothers that teach the light doctrines of great millstone, okay? We're the only ones that are warning you of Jacob's trouble. Other Israelite groups ain't warning you. They're telling you Jacob's trouble is not going to happen, okay? They're telling you Jacob's trouble is gay. It's not going to happen, all right? And if it does happen, you're not going to be rescued out of it, all right? Which is an absolute lie, man, okay? So, look, Jacob's trouble is right around the corner. Well, it ain't right around the corner. It's already here, but it hasn't gone full-blown yet, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, verse 17, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord Yahweh Hashem is, and what the will of the Lord Yahweh Hashem is, to destroy this place, okay, to the deliver the elect, all right? Let's get this. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 14, the great day of the Lord Yahweh Hashem is near, it is near, and hasteneth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord Yahweh Shai. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. So the great day of the Lord Yahweh Shai is drawing near. Day in and day out. Prophecies popping off like popcorn. Okay? So we're getting closer and closer to the end of this thing. Alright? Verse 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness. And desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fences, fence city and against the high tower. So, hey, like it says right here, a day of wrath, trouble, distress. Okay, you know what? I got to go and get that. Let's go to Second Ezra. All right, Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse... 18. I'm going to read verse 18. 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Okay? Look, when they shall say peace and safety, then the sudden destruction is going to come, and it's going to take a lot of you by surprise. Okay? Let's continue to read. Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Like I say, just good victuals should be so good cheap. All right? Food. Okay, and their visuals go back to the you no know, food. Okay, things thinking things are looking up, things are going to go back to normal. All right, and like it says right here, and then and even then shall evils grow up on the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. A lot of you Israelites are about to be in great confusion. Okay, all right, uh, let's go back to what it was. Um, all right, uh, let's see. I'm going to read verse 17. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai. And their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung. A lot of dead bodies are going to be out here lying in the streets real soon, man. All right. And you know what? Let's prove it. That's the spirit. <laughs> Uh, Jeremiah 25, verse 33. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, uh, hold on. Slack here. Uh, um, you know what? I'm going to start at verse 32. All right. Jeremiah 25, and verse 32. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Shem, Behold, evils shall go forth from nations to nation. Evil is going to go forth all over the world, man. It's going to be great death, 
great mourning, sorrow all over the earth, man. Nowhere to escape, okay? And a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth, okay? What's that great whirlwind, okay? That great destruction, all right? The nuclear destruction, okay? Verse uh, 33. And the slaying of the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. See? Dead bodies going to be laying all over this place, man. Okay. Let's read verse 17 again. Zephaniah 1 and 17 again. And I will bring distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh Shehoshah. And their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord Yahweh Shehoshah's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. Whose jealousy? Yahweh Shehoshah. Okay. For he shall make even a speedy renaissance of all them that dwell in the land. So the Lord is about to make a speedy renaissance of this place, Babylon, the great America, man. Okay. Let's continue. Let's see. You know, that's how it's been mentioning. Let's get it. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I'll start verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, how about Shia Shai, so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay, when they shall say peace and safety, what they telling you now? You take this this thing, you can go back to you know doing what you was doing. You can go to concerts, you can go to the store, blah blah blah, all this stuff, man. But hey, like it says, when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction is going to come, and it's going to take a lot of you people by surprise, especially two-thirds of you Israelites, man. It's going to take a lot of y'all asses by surprise, okay? Verse 4, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. We're not in darkness, all right? The brethren is talking about the elect, okay? Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, Okay? There, snuggies. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Continue to watch and be sober, man. Continue to watch the prophecies. Okay? Verse 7. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day, that's talking about the elect, be sober, putting on the breastplate of, breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet the hope of salvation. That's what we're hoping for. The salvation, man. Get the hell up out of here. The elect. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get this. This is Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 35. I'm sorry, not 35. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25. Destruction coming and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. You're going to seek peace in the day. Well, there ain't going to be no peace. No peace on this earth. Like it says, no. And you know what? Let's just get it. Let's get it. Yes. I think it's verse 22. Yeah. All right. I, yeah, Isaiah chapter 48, verse 22. There is, there is no peace, said the Lord, Yahweh, unto the wicked. No peace is coming to the wicked, man. You wicked two-thirds. You wicked as Edomites. All right, none of that. Okay. Verse. Uh, this is Matthew chapter twenty-four, and verse twenty-one. For then there should be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever, no nor ever shall be. And it said, those days should be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. The days of being shortened for the elect's sake, man. Okay. Last scripture. Because this is, hey, this is well on its way, man. Okay? Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. We bring this scripture out every every day, almost. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. 
It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's going to be saved out of it? The elect. All right? Because, hey, there's going to be a time of trouble on this earth. Ain't never been seen or heard from ever before. Okay? Daniel 7 1. And at that time shall Michael, Michael the archangel, stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people, the elect, the, the Israelites. There shall be a time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. And that's talking about the elect. So if you're not found written in the book, then hey, you're screwed, man. If you ain't got the covering of your how about seeing y'all shy, you're done. Okay? You're basically done. All right? So, let's see. Anything else I had? Um, no, that's pretty much it. That's all I had, man. Okay? I just wanted to do this little quick lesson. All right? So, go away. Our praise lesson was edified. I'm going to leave it here by giving all praises and honor and glory that's due to you. How about seeing y'all shy? By Shimmer Kakadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of great most don't tell me truth and double citation to all your occu. You men that prophesy and name throughout the four winds this earth, person is true without righteousness and sincerity. All right, so on to the next video. To the next time, I say Shalom. And Barakathon to the whole Philet. And Wild Baba Ball, destruction to Babylon the Great America. Shalom.